Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Points of Light. Beloved family, our text says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. Genesis 1, 3-4 Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word and your wisdom. Let those who have ears, let them hear. Amen. We know that this verse in Genesis speaks to the creation of the world. But I want us to look deeper into this verse. See, before the physical world, there exists the spiritual one. In other words, what you see manifested physically or is seen originated from that which is unseen. For example, anxiety and stress, the unseen, can cause physical seen issues in our bodies. According to the American Psychological Association, chronic stress is linked to the six leading causes of death, heart disease, cancer, lung ailments, accidents, cirrhosis of the liver, and suicide. And more than 75% of all physician office visits are for stress-related ailments and complaints. King Jesus Christ gave us the root cure to all these issues. He said in Matthew 6.33, Do not worry. In other words, do not stress. In the kingdom of God, light means knowledge and truth, and darkness means ignorance and lies. Jesus Christ is the light of the world and the truth and life. In contrast, Satan is the prince of darkness and father of lies. When God declared, let there be light, and he saw the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. This good light is Jesus Christ, the light of the world, who is separated from the darkness and ignorance of this world. And in fact, the word church is the word ecclesia, the called out or separated assembly of children of God. The Gospel of John says, He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John 1, 2-5 the reason that darkness or ignorance cannot comprehend light or knowledge is because God separated them from each other. One cannot coexist with the other. In a dark room, turning on the light switch instantly chases the darkness away. And the darkness reappears instantly when we turn off the light. Likewise, you cannot be a wise fool. Throughout the book of Proverbs, we see them in contrast to each other. When we receive the wisdom of God and knowledge, ignorance cannot be bliss. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. This is a very revealing verse. But how can a dark world not receive the light of Jesus Christ? We just saw that physical darkness always recognizes physical light. How then did a world full of spiritual darkness of ignorance not recognize the light of knowledge of the world? It's because they were blinded. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Unbelievers can't receive the knowledge that comes from God because they can't see it. They can't hear it and they can't understand it. 
King Jesus Christ says, This is why I speak to them in parables. Though seeing, they do not see. Though hearing, they do not hear or understand. And this fulfills what the prophet Isaiah says about them. You will be ever hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. But here's the good news, family. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. That's it right there. King Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the light of the world. He has made you and I rulers and kings in the earth and children of the Most High God, Elohim. We are the spiritual children of God. We are points of light shining from the light within us. King David said it plainly in Psalms 36, 9, For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. The original text here means your countenance or face. We see the light of knowledge and instruction. We see the light of prosperity and life. Remember the instruction God told Moses to give Aaron and the priests to pronounce blessings on the people. He said, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Number 624, Paul said to the Corinthians, For God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. We are to be points of light. King Jesus says, No one lights a lamp and puts it in a place where it will be hidden or under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand so that those who come in may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eyes are healthy, your whole body also is full of light. But when they are unhealthy, your body also is full of darkness. See to it then that the light within you is not darkness. Therefore, if your whole body is full of light and no part dark, it will be just full of light as when a lamp shines its light on you. Much love.